Well guys, welcome back to another episode and I'm actually heading up to Philpot Lake in Virginia and I'm going to be fishing and camping and the primary fish species I'm after are largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, and walleye. With walleye being what I'd like to catch the most because I've never caught one before, so I would be stoked. All right, here we go. Just about to pull onto the boat ramp right here. Wow, this looks awesome. That's great. Let's see here. All right. Mm -hmm. Wow, that water looks amazing i'm stoked right now look at that well um i actually am not supposed to uh, check into my campsite until five o'clock so what i'm gonna do is fish first and then later this evening before dark i'll get my campsite all set up but i actually brought a lot of different uh lures with me i got like a jerk bait i got a finesse rig drop shot um i got paddle tail um uh, top water and then for walleye I got just a little jig and then I'll put a worm on it So I got a lot of different things I'm just stoked right now. I just, let's get out there and get to fishing Tell you what, this lake is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving this. But I'm actually going to start off with the paddle tail first and then uh, probably fish for bass for about an hour and then fish for a walleye about an hour and then switch back and forth like that. Um, but I don't have too much, you know, I have a couple hours until I have to go back and set up camp before dark, but see what we can get. First cast. Whenever you ca uh, throw your first cast, it's always like so many possibilities. And then when you get to the 700 cast with no fish, you're like, what in the world's going on? Where are all the fish? <laughs> uh, hopefully that don't happen here. But oh, look at that action in the water. It's clear water right there. Well, it just started raining. But it really, the whole time I'm up here, there's a chance of thunderstorm. So it's probably not the last I'll see of it. But hopefully it'll pass pretty quick. Just saw a fish come to the surface right there, so I'm gonna try a top water real quick. Guys, got one. That's a good fish. Good fish. And of course, what did I... Oh, that's a good fish, guys. I saw the fish uh, come up to the surface. And I went over here and threw to it. And uh, of course, I forgot my net. Of course, again. Guys, this is a good good fish. Guys, I got a good fish. And of course, of course, I forgot my net. Uh, stay down. Stay down. That would be awesome if this was a smallmouth. Whoa. He has some power to it. What is this thing? I saw it coming up to the surface and hitting stuff. Okay, yeah. Well, it's not even as big as I thought, but it's fighting hard. Woo -hoo -hoo. First one. Yes. All right, come here, buddy. Oh, goodness, he don't want to stop. And it's not even that big of a fish. Come here. Guys, here we go. First bass of the day. And I'm not even sure if it is a largemouth. I, I think they have to, supposed to have like black bass in here. I'm not sure if it's that or if it's like a spotted bass. I don't know. I'll do some research on it when I get some good service and I'll put it in the video what it is. But yeah, I know it's a bass. It's the first one of the day. So I'm going to get it back in the water. I'm stoked. This is awesome. All right, buddy. Thank you for biting. Go on. Go on. 
that was awesome i saw it going after like bait fish over here came over there cast it in as soon as it hit the water pretty much hit it so that's great first one of the day didn't take very long well no more bites and i actually fish a little bit longer uh, for bass than an hour so i'm actually going to switch it up and probably fish the rest of the evening for some walleye and all i have is just a jig and then the worm on there so i'll have to be patient and just try to let it hit the bottom and then just slowly work it back Got one guys that actually doesn't feel half bad doesn't feel half bad guys that could be a walleye could be a bass too but that is that, that feels pretty decent for a worm and a jig so that could be a walleye could be my first walleye come on buddy be a walleye please that is a no it's a catfish ah i guess they have catfish in here of course oh that's aggravating I really would thought that might be my first walleye. It's a cat. Uh, well, this is my second bite though. I'll take it. Dumb thing. <laughs> got my walleye. crazy so let's see if I can get you off this hook there we go well <laughs> not my walleye I mean with the weight of it and everything I was like that has to be a walleye and of course they ended up having catfish in here oh well hopefully we don't run into too many of them but we probably will well guys it has absolutely turned gorgeous out here I mean look at this just amazing after that storm it just so glassy but what I'm going to do, I haven't caught anything else, so I'm going to head on back to camp and get it set up. Well, I just got my camp all set up. Got my wood there. I'm gonna start a fire here in a second, but everything's looking good, ready for tonight. Well guys, I got my logs all ready here and I'm gonna show you a pro tip on how to start a fire that all the big uh, survivalists and survival TV shows never show and they keep a secret. And that is, if you're ever lost and you're out in the wilderness and all of that and you're freezing to death, you just need some lighter fluid and all you got to do is just open it up spray it on here just just really spray it on there a lot just i mean you're freezing to death you're dying you you need this a lot of this you need instant warmth so just like that and you light it just like that come on flame light come on see look at that it might not be going very big but i mean it is started and that way you don't have to rub two sticks together forever but uh this only works if when your calamity befalls you you have lighter fluid with you calamity look look at me using big words ah come on you dumb fire it's supposed to be burning Well, this is actually my first time at this campsite. So while my fire is trying to start, well, trying to die on me, uh, I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit. But right straight across from my campground is the bathrooms and shower. So just right there, and they're very nice. The inside is pretty amazing for a campground. And then, you know, if you have kids, uh, there's actually, well, I'll show you. It's pretty cool. And you can actually camp straight across from it. And it would be this playground right here. If you have kids, they would love that. I mean, that's a really nice playground. And then right across from it is a camping spot. But just to say, I'm pretty impressed. Like, it's a really nice area. It looks really well kept. Well, guys, I'm going to relax for the rest of the evening. And then my plan is in the morning, I want to get up before daylight, get everything packed so I can get 
down the boat ramp right when the sun's coming up and get right out there fishing. Um, I actually don't have to be out of this campsite till 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So if I do end up getting like a walleye or a smallmouth uh, that I can keep and bring back, I'll come back here and cook it up unless it's after 4 o'clock and then I can't. But um, that's the plan for now. I'll see you guys early in the morning. Well guys, good morning and let me tell you what's going on. Last night when I went to bed, it started raining and it rained hard all night. And I was not expecting that. I thought um, it was thunderstorms and that's about it. Well, as you can see, or should be able to see on the GoPro, it is still raining. So what I'm gonna do, even though it's raining, just go out there and fish and hope it stops. I don't really have uh, service to check to see if, if it's supposed to stop or if it's supposed to rain all day or what. But uh, I'm really hoping you know a little bit later on in the day that it stops but we'll see and i'll do my best to keep the water off the lens and hey who knows maybe it'll make the fish bite Guys, that's a good fish. Good fish. Stay down, buddy. Good fish. Came out of nowhere. Oh. Wow. Stay down. I was not expecting him. Oh. No, he got off. No. Rats. Oh, man. Oh, my word. That was a good fish. Oh. Wow, guys, that was a that was a good fish right there, big. I'm uh, that makes you depressed almost. Goodness, ah, oh, that's painful. Guys, we got something. I think. Could this be my walleye? I don't know. It got off. Or did it get off? Hold up. No, it got off. How did it get off? <sighs> Guys, I just had something on there. I don't know what it was, but it actually felt good. That could have been my walleye. I don't know. I just can't. I keep getting some bites, but I'm not hooking up. Oh, that's horrible. Man, I mean, that could have been a catfish, I guess, but I don't know. It almost, I don't know. That's just aggravating. Well, guys, let me give you a little update. It is actually 2.30 right now, and the only bites I've gotten are the two really good ones this morning that I um, lost. They got off. So, and well, I've gotten a couple like sunfish, but I'm not really counting those. So, I mean, I've tried every like everything. I've tried... Tons of different lures uh, for walleye. I even tried a flex spoon instead of the jig and worm. I've just I've tried tons of different things. Just can't get nothing. It's like dead. So as our last resort, I'm actually just drift fishing, kind of like I I do for catfish with my worm right above the bottom. So just right out here, just like that. And I probably will end up running into a catfish, but I'm really hoping to get a walleye like this. But Nothing else is working, so this is kind of like a last-ditch effort to get something. Well, just got the boat loaded. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything on the drift, but today was just a hard day of fishing. Um, I tried about everything I could to catch a fish, and it just did not work out. But, I mean, I did get two good bites, and they just got off. But um, this is actually one of the prettier lakes I've fished, though. Um, I had an amazing time up here, and the camping spots were really nice, too. So um, I'll probably end up coming back here again sometime. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next episode.